Hey, good evening everyone. Hello, I am Franklin Cruz Richugas. And I am now reporting to you about my topic, the serious topic about chemical bonding. You know about chemical bonds? In my college, uh, I have thought about chemical bonding. So, now, I, w I will recall to you my, my, I will recall to you my knowledge about in chemical bonding. So now, I will give you the meaning about chemical bonding. So, let's hear it out. Chemical bonding is one of the most basic fundamentals of chemistry that explains the concepts such as molecules and reaction. Without it, the chemical bonding, the scientists wouldn't be able to explain why the atoms are formed after chemical reaction. So, chemical bonding is important to know because when adding chemicals, you have to have some chemical reactions so that's why it's in, it is important also in the scientists because they have to because they have to know the concept concept knowledge about chemical reaction so and how did they know the atomic structure of the chemicals so that's that's could be the meaning of chemical bonding for now so let's move from another introduction of chemical bonding i have some meaning so if a common atom contains a nucleus composed of proteins and nutrients an atom you know that an atom has protons in nucleus right protons and nutrients neutrons and also the atom has electrons and certain inner energy revolving around the nucleus in this sec section the main focus of chemical bonding will be in the ele electrons because when an atom does not have an electron so it can't be normal because an atom is not unstable so electron is important in chemical bonding elements are distinguishable from each other due to electron cloud or the area where the electrons move around the nucleus of an atom the, nu the nucleus move in the atoms so that's the meaning because each element has a distinct electron cloud this determine the chemical properties as well as the extent of the reactivity example of this is the noble gas alkaline metals are, just are a highly reactive of electrons so that's in chemical bonding only valence electrons also oh, balance electrons they say electron located on the orbital of the outermost energy level so yung chemicals uh, electrons daw ay it's located uh, outside the energy level so the, the chemical bonding will be part of of electrons part in the electrons dito siya doon magkuha ng elect ng electron mga valence electron para mabuo that's uh, so I have a presentation or powerpoint about an sample of of chemical bonding so let's see the example 
I will show to you how how the basic instruction on making and chemical bonding and I would like to tell you the, the types of chemical bonds so yeah wait wait this loading so this is my example about chemical bonds my presentation a chemical bond is a lasting attraction between atoms ions and molecules that enables the formation of chemical compounds so the bond may result from electro electrostatic force of attraction between opposite oppositely charged ions as an ionic bonds and through the sharing of electrons as in covalent bond so that's that's the some meaning of chemical bond chemical chemical bonds also have forces that can hold atoms together so that's a no force to, to hold the atoms together to make a compound or a molecule chemical bonds include covalent polar covalent and ionic ionic bonds there are many types of chemical bonds so let's I will I will teach you what is the other other types of chemical bonds lately atomic atoms will re relatively similar to electronegativity share electrons between them the electrons will be shared between them so that's chemical bonds will be sharing electrons to one another chem to another chemical so this attraction is known as ionic band that is the ionic band so furthermore this is i will present to you the the, the types of chemical bonding so there are four types of chemical bonding in chemistry so i will teach you the basic on how the ionic the chemical bonding types of different different types of, of chemical bonding the first one is coval ionic ionic bonding covalent bonding hydrogen band and van der Swall. Oh, let me just see the first one is the ionic bonding so the meaning the meaning of ionic bonding is a type of chemical bonding that involves the electrostatic attraction between oppositely charged ions or between two atoms so ionic bonding is it is involved of the electrostatic between the opposite daw ang ions so, so the, in the two atoms so the ionic bonding is so opposite in another atom so further I will give you some example about ionic bonding so you see the example of ionic bonding this is an example of the sharing of electron to one another opposite the oppositively charged ions like share to another just like that a sodium atom and a chloride atom a sodium has an electrons of an electrons of ten ten electrons while the chloride atom has I'm a 
the sodium atom has the 11 electrons while the chloride atom has the has 17 atoms so in this table you can see that the chloride has not enough electrons to be to be buo yung, ma, yung mabuo siya so the sodium is kana is have many electrons so the process of this is the a sodium a sodium atom gives gives one electrons to the chloride so let's see oh in this side the sodium atom has only 10 10 electrons because the one the one electrons one, one electron of sodium has shared to the chloride so the chloride now is have eight, 18 18 electrons so it has buo ng 18 so ganun ang nyari so just like that the the bonding of of two atoms can be pair, paired if effectively so ganyan uh, that is the example of ionic bonding more is second is the covalent band covalent band is the chemical band that involves the sharing of electron pairs between atoms these electron pairs are known as shared pairs or bonding pairs and the table stable balance of attractive and repulsive force between atoms so that is the meaning eh. I mean this is sharing electron pairs between atoms so they're sharing at electron pairs in two atoms example of covalent band is just like this and a water water molecule is an example of covalent band because oxygen has eight electrons so there are there are two one one electrons per hi hydrogen so there are two hydrogens in that so the two hydrogens shared the electrons to the to the oxygen that's why the oxygen needed two electron pairs that's a, that's happened in a covalent band next one is the hydrogen band hydrogen band is a primary electrostatic force of attraction between a hydrogen atom which is covalently bound to a more electron negativity negative atom or group particularly to the second row just like the elements of nitrogen oxygen or fluorine so example sample of hydrogen band is just in the periodic table that's covalently bound to this has more elo electrons so let's see the example example of hydrogen band just like this two oxid two water molecules shared to one another because it is not sufficient so that that two that two gives uh, some ele hydrogen band to the other oxygen so, to be fair so ganyan ang nangyari the the arrow must be different from another because it is giving some ano speed uh ano ba yun ng pagkakaiba sa kanilang lang pagbigay ng ano ng electrons and yan so that's that's could be that's be the difference of these hydrogen bonds to an and others the last one is the van der Waals interaction van der Waals interaction is a distance dependent interaction between atoms or molecules 
van der Waals forces affect various properties of gases and also give rise to an attractive force to solid objects a small group so van der Waals extraction is distancia interaction between atoms so just not it is different from an, from the other types of chemical bonds because it is not more on sharing ano sharing electrons because it is having a distance so magkaiba sila sa ibang yung mga types this is the ano van der Waals is various properties of gases so it has gases just not like just mo, ano atom so there's as many many properties so that's I don't have an example of this but I can't really understand it so that's all and the chemical bonding is important in chemistry so it's just my report chemical bonds that's all thing. so did you hear my report on topic about chemical bonding so thank you for watching this video so so that's all thank you and god bless